Right, hello ladies and uh, gentlemen. Uh, yeah, Mac and Barry in the woods today. Uh, not doing nothing too flashy or fancy today. Um, but first order of the date when we get out is get a brew on. Uh, and just sort of some old faithfuls really. Um, or just to sort of prove that bushcrafting don't have to be fancy, don't have to have any Gucci kit. Um, we're looking at here is a uh, mess burner, the Swedish one, army one. Their uh, windshield. Which you know could can be used as a hobo stove should you run out of the old mess. That, that, and the old German mess mess tins or the East German ones. I prefer these, only because I've used them when I was in the army. Big old cooking pot, baking pot, and that, unlike the Swedish one, has a, another insert which I always find really really handy. I'll be doing my brew on that. Um, sort of between ten and twelve quid for a whole cooking system. They cost, I like, I like them, they're army, they're robust. I think they're a pound of 150, military mark. And that was all military mark. Um, you can have all the water blood in you want, but there's um, a two quart canteen, the old Americans use. Always use one of them in the army. The old clips going on and so forth. Excellent bits of kit, excellent bits of kit. If you've not seen one, the old water bladder comes out. And just for something walking about, you don't, if you've not got that, that will actually shoulder strap um, with a small light, well as my wife calls them, man bag, but walking about bag and that as well. And uh, again, that was, Scott put me onto that, um, you can get them in anywhere, but uh, I think that came in at about 12 quid for two litre water carrier. Um, absolutely fantastic, always used one of them when I was in the army, that was like my Bergen water. And uh, you can't get out one, you can buy a Crusader mug if you want. Um, but I think I, I, I got that one, the stainless steel mug there, six quid out of a local army surplus shop that sadly shut down. So we're talking about 30 quid there. Um, you know, people say, oh, 30 quid's a lot of money, but that's more than enough. I, I, everything I need there you're looking at is what I need to survive, live off, and feed myself in the field. Uh, mess ain't too expensive. Um, when it runs out, as I say, you can turn that over. Fire, bosh, pots on top. And that, that does make a really good hobo stove as well, yeah. Right, ladies, anyway, I'm going to bore you because I want to keep it quite simple today. Just want to do a bit of bushcrafting rather than sort of bloody reviewing. But yeah, a few people have done that um, of late, sort of just nothing flash, nothing fancy. Here we go, and with this thing, obviously that's a nice and stable prepared area, that'll go on, stops inside, and that's it, that'll take a couple of, probably about three minutes to boil up your water, which I think, you know, uh, ain't a bad time at all. Anyway, uh, that's me brewer now, I'll, I'll bring you back later, take care. Well as you can see there now. I don't normally do stuff like that, but that's taken just short of five minutes to come to a really good rolling ball there. Um, and that by anybody's standards is not good. Something, obviously I always use one of these as a soldier as opposed to hex them in blocks and bits and that. And uh, just as a thing there, we're talking about cheap and cheerful, will work, gets the job done. But the thing is, I can't, sort of, the times that I was able, at the bottom of a trench, um, back of a, like a Land Rover, obviously metal floor vehicle and so forth, you need a little bit of ventilation with this. Uh, how, how many times I brewed and scoffed myself when other people I didn't have the ability to do so or the nonce to get it out, get it done and get yourself fed and watered because you never get time to do that in the army, you just got to get it done, get it done, get it done, it's called battle preparation. But just something, I was sat there for that couple of three minutes, which is a brilliant little time just to chill out and switch off, you know, um, was that uh, one that, remember the old, many a time there, you know, some of them really tough, hard, arduous exercise, people hadn't eaten for a couple of three days and that, well, just, well, you take a chance, you know, you get at the bottom of that trench, throw a poncho over the top and, you know, you get some scoff down your neck and a brew and you're, 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 you, you, you know, you're back up there, like, you know, but really, really is um, sort of covert as well, yeah, uh, that flame doesn't really come outside of that as well, um, a lot of other cookers like the Xboxes and, or XL bush boxes and so forth, 
ain't really doing that so that's probably a good idea for a little bit of stealth camping and that as well um, sort of always has impressed me and what I'll say that is oh gets the old job done so I'll tell you what because I'll just pack for the day and not for that oh excuse me old standby Just for that moment, gloves have gone amiss. And uh, obviously, very easy to turn off and on a ball. That soon, soon calmed down, that will. Anyway, that's my first brew, and uh, yeah, just put back some memories there. The old uh, Swedish Army bomb proof kit, uh, 10 or 12 quid, military mark. Don't have to be flash and fancy to get the job done, ladies and gentlemen. Take care.